Greetings everybody, welcome, welcome. Uh, recording a video out here is going, you're going to hear a lot of echo in the video and I don't want to hear a lot of echo in the video so but you see that barrel back there? That barrel, this wheelchair that I'm sitting in, this wheelchair is supposed to be broken down which I will do myself and fit it into that barrel but I also want to fill that barrel with a bunch of other things. My goal is to send two barrels but if I don't get enough donations to help with the two barrels, I'm just going to send the one on my own. Either way, this facility will get something, right? The reason is, I was in Jamaica recently and I stopped by this healthcare facility that supplies a whole region, a couple of districts. And I asked them what are the things that they needed. I realized they were doing extremely good work in the community and they were teaching a lot. Even about um, diabetes, hypertension, um, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, how to eat healthy, how to lose some weight and how to maintain your health, um, the, the necessities of exercise on a daily basis to stem or starve off hypertension, diabetes and all these other things. It was talking about stuff like sexual activities and promiscuous sexual activities, abstinence, uh, protection and they gave out like free condoms and stuff like that to the community you know and I'm thinking to myself that these people can really need some help so I went up to the really use some help so I went up there and I asked what would they need and the head nurse in charge told me that she would need um, she said a wheelchair would be nice so I went and I got a wheelchair right I got this out of my own money I went and I got a wheelchair as soon as I saw one for sale and I'm looking for another wheelchair. It's called a bariatric wheelchair. So this wheelchair, I'm a pretty big guy. I'm six foot four, 240 something pounds, right? So if I can fit in this wheelchair, the average person in this community could fit in a wheelchair. I want a wheelchair that's a little bit bigger though, the bariatric wheelchairs, because those wheelchairs can fit people that are big, fat, obese, overweight, whatever you want to call them and also say a mother that is in her eight, ninth month of pregnancy and these kind of things. The facility is situated on a hill, a steep hill. And the head nurse said that whenever taxi drivers bring the people to the facility, most of the time they don't come up the hill, they drop them at the foot of the hill and they have to go down there and get them. And sometimes they even have to lift them up and walk them up the hill because they're so elderly and frail and they can't make it up the hill. So a wheelchair would be helpful. Now, I don't want anybody lifting me up when I'm that old or lifting my grandmother up if she's old and frail. What if the nurse or the help that's lifting them up falls with them? You know what I'm saying? So a wheelchair is a safe way. And if that's all that we can do, then hey, we've done something great. So I'm providing them with the wheelchair and another thing that struck me where she talked about sanitary pads for women, sanitary napkins and these things. And I'm like, we could put the wheelchair in the barrel, but buy the barrel already. Thanks to one of my subscribers out of the UK. He already sent the money in for the barrel. And I told him, I said, I just got the money. And as soon as I got the money, I am going to go purchase the barrel. There's your money boss. The barrel already bought. The wheelchair already bought. I'm gonna break the wheelchair down, put it in the barrel. I don't have a use, use for a wheelchair here. I'm sitting on my back porch right now talking to you, right? We're thinking of putting stuff like mosquito nets because this is rural Jamaica. They are way up in the hills, we are in our country, right? So we're thinking about mosquito nets and the last time we were there, mosquitoes were just swarming us. So I can't imagine, and you know, we have the whole dengue outbreak and all kind of other stuff. So we're thinking of mosquito nets. We're thinking of diapers, sanitary pads, or panty shields. This is my wife's list to put in the barrel. School supplies, hygiene stuff like toothpaste, toothbrush, dental floss, lotion, toilet paper, and bars of soap, right? We're thinking of stuff like aspirin, uh, thumbs, like, you know, thumbs for upset stomach hand sanitizers, hand sanitizer, gloves, medical gloves for the staff at the facility, and other first aid stuff like band-aids, rubbing alcohol, iodine, gauze, nail kits. We're thinking of things to uplift the morale of the women. You know, 
women in a Jamaica they normally par with a team. You know what I'm saying? If I even see me wanna go to Auntie Jen house and when she go over there, the rest of the female auntie and cousin them over there and they have a day of doing girls hair and nails and whatever. So we're thinking of putting stuff to uplift their morale also in the barrel like a nail kit. Nail kit, shampoo and conditioner, you know what I'm saying, makeup and these kind of things. I don't know my wife right here, so shampoo and conditioner, a tech, q tips, q tips, q tips, q tips, nail stuff, makeup, socks, like the grippy socks, fall, falling for an elderly person can be detrimental. It's not like when you fall in your 20s or 30s or even 40s or 50s. When you're in your 80s and you fall, or your 70s, 80s, 90s, 80s and 90s and you fall, that fall can mean the end of life for you. And usually it does. It's a rapid decline to the end of life after a fall at that age. And a simple stuff like grippy socks. It's some socks that I work in the field of occupational therapy. So these are things that we employ anyways. So a grippy socks is socks that allows them to walk on multiple surfaces without slipping and falling, right? And they might not be able to bend on and put on them shoes all the time and all that. They just want to go from the living room to the kitchen or from the bedroom to the bathroom and you don't want them going barefooted or going in some socks because them foot cold and the socks is a slippery socks. We call those socks trip hazards. So we want some grippy socks. Them kind of things there. So these are the list of things. Thank you wife. And how the money is going to go now. I want this to be very transparent so that people can see that we've reached our goal. We want to set a goal for how much we want to reach want people to be able to see who contributed, how much was contributed, and then when we reach the goal, we can turn it off, stop it. And then we'll use that money according to what we said we were going to use that money for, and then we will show you the video of the people receiving the stuff and all that other stuff. Understand? So that's where it's at right now. Um, the person that donated the money for that barrel that I just purchased to put stuff in, I don't know if they want to shout out. I've shouted out people before and they said, Soflo, please take me out of your video. Take out my name or take, please take out my information because I like your show, but my husband can't stand your show and he gets mad every time I watch the show. And they donated 100 US for some cause before, previously, and I gave them a shout out and I had to take their, I had to go re edit the video and chop out the part where they where I'll put their information in there just saying shout out and thank you. So I don't know who wants to be shouted out. That's the reason why I'm not putting the GoFundMe information up yet, right? So y'all decide, do you want me to do a GoFundMe? Do you want me to do a cash app? Or do you want me to do a, uh, what's it called again? PayPal. So it's GoFundMe, cash app, or PayPal. Cash app and PayPal keeps your information private. Only I will see it. GoFundMe shows everybody's information publicly. If you don't mind your information being publicly, then vote for, uh, um, vote for a GoFundMe. If you want your information to remain private, then of course vote for a Cash App or a PayPal. As I said, my goal is to send down two barrels with two wheelchairs and I only have one barrel and one wheelchair so far. If I don't get enough or I will use whatever I get to send off this one wheelchair, pack that barrel and send that off with the rest of the money being a monetary contribution or whatever or if it stretches just to the limit, can you know say so we are gonna have shipping fee, then you know in Jamaica them are gonna tax we for pick it up. And for those of you who are, who are going to say, hey, why don't never just buy a wheelchair in Jamaica? A wheelchair in Jamaica costs a hand and a leg. And you, they, you, you're not, they're not readily available to us just like that. This is a quality wheelchair that I'm in. Okay, this wheelchair right here has adjustable, it's adjustable, it has footrests and all these other things. See what I'm saying? So I'm mean, going to walk the wheelchair myself. It's comfortable and somebody can push it or I can operate it myself, right? So thank you in advance and help out whichever way you can. Some people call it begging, but members say I'm not begging this for me because 
I really don't need it from you. I'm very well good where I am in life and I am giving back some of mine as well. I'm not rich, but I have a little bit what I can give back to and I shall be giving back also. And it's going to make it fun when we go to Jamaica again and you see the vlogs because we'll be able to go to this facility, talk to the people there and even talk to the people in the community without just pushing camera in on them face and they're wondering well who you man why you can push camera in on my face they will know you as somebody that donate to their cause and then you can go have a conversation with the people in the community so how life around here you know things safe on the this on the that that kind of stuff and it makes vlogging way more interesting all right so again thanks and i'll see you on another video it's soflow tv man like comment share subscribe share it with somebody if you have a dollar give a dollar if you can give 50 give 50 if it's your big donation for the year to charity and you want give a hundred give a hundred i will take a million if you have give that to and i will go to jamaica and do something huge with it but whatever you have to give is well appreciated if you can't give nothing and you just give your prayers and good intentions or best wishes then we'll take that too such is life all right because we don't all have it but those who have a little still have a little more to give bless up